Hi, this is Pam from Heart of Texas. I want to show you how to cover the Photo Flip album, um, how to make the album cover itself. Um, there was some confusion on how to put the craft text on, so I'm show you this simple step. This is your spine right here. It's uh, 2 inches by 12 inches. And on the spine itself, I measured the center and made, if I can get enough close, if you could see this, I made a little tick mark right there, which is the center of one inch. And then I covered the back side of it with score tape. You don't want to skimp on this part because this is what's going to make or break your album. So I covered it with score tape so that there's very little space that's left uncovered. On the craft text, this is what it looks like. There I made, this is a, a I think it's a four inch, yeah, it's a four inch piece. And by bending it, I can kind of tell which side is the fur, is the top, this that bends easy is the top. So I put a tick mark here at two inches and a tick mark here at two inches. And then I got smart and realized I wasn't going to put it on that side. So I turned it over and on the wrong side, I put another tick mark and another tick mark. So I'm going to peel the tape off of it and uh, show you how to apply it. camera so you can see. And the Tim Holtz ruler happens to be, there's a one inch space so you can just uh, lay that down on your craft text and see. Now I'm going to place the sticky side down onto my, can see, onto my craft text right here just lining up the tick. So this is cut intentionally a little longer at the bottom so that uh, you certainly won't come up short. So this line, that's the the line right below the numbers, this one right here, is an inch. So if you put it down, line it up with that, then you can get it straight. Or hopefully. So I'm going to Pick it up. I don't want to quite stick yet. And put it on the one inch mark. See? And stick it down. Now, if I have to, you can see the whole thing. So I have this lined up on my one inch mark, and I just stuck this down to it. So you have it looking like this. And then, of course, you want to varnish it to get the chipboard and the score tape and the craft text to become one. So this is going to be can be either the inside or the outside of your album. It doesn't matter at this point, but we're going to make it so that um, it's about, um, you do want the tops even. This score line between um, here, the width of his ruler is just about the right width that you need to um, to do has oops to do the um, what do we call that spine? That's the word I'm looking for. So then I'm going to do the same thing over here. I'm just going to go ahead and mark it right here. This is just so I'll know where to where my score tape is going to end <clears throat> on the other side or on this side because I can still flip it over. 
So this is about, this is how far over the craft text is going to go onto my cover. It's, a, it's about an inch, I think. So I just draw a, a light little line because it's not going to stay on there very long. This one should be, oops, should be about the same. And draw it on there. Like so. And I want to see if it's an inch. No, it's not an inch. This one is an inch. And this one is an inch. So I'm going to mark this one an inch so that it might have a chance of being straight. I don't really want it up very good, I guess. So it's going to be covered up anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's the pencil marks are on there. <clears throat> so again, I'm going to line that up. <laughs> that one's straight either. I think I should quit lining up. There we go. Way off. You erase all these little lines. So it's hard to work upside down. It's me to work upside down. So I'm going to turn this around and I want this line right here that is one inch on this ruler to be right here. And this is where I'm going to draw my line. There, that was much easier. So now I have two lines that are one inch from the inside of this, oops, inside of the spine. And that's where I'm going to put the score tape. So I'm going to put the score tape on each. You want it on good too because this is what's going to hold your spine to the album itself. And then I'm going to put one on the outside, right on the edge, put one on the inch, just right inside it so that it won't get, won't show. And then I'll run another skinny little strip down here, down the middle, like so, which, oops, should show, maybe, all right, let me get this glued on, and, okay, I'm going to record, re, attach my one side, and leaving the gap between the uh, spine. I flipped it over and put it on the scoreboard because it's easier to butt it up against something to make sure I'm getting the spine straight. So I'm going to burnish the score tape a little to make sure that it's down good. And then pull it off. two on here and then I'll pull the other one off because I'm not sure that it's gonna so I have it up and this is uh, gonna be my um, guide here to do this so I have this this gap that I want and it's butted up against it and so I'm just gonna turn it over and put it down like so. So there's my gap. I don't think that should be I think about an eighth of an inch. Mm -hmm. um, you can see the gap. I'm going to make sure that it's in there. Nice little gap. And push it down. Turn it over. And Put 
soldered. I didn't like the way that looked on that top there. So I can get it off there. Probably. So I have decided to play to take that off and redo it. And this is putting the back back on a next to the spine using this spacer that we had. And I used the Jim Holtz insert, a ruler just to insert in there so I could have tell what the gap is. Um, I burnish the edges and the craft test to the score tape and the chipboard. And now um, I want to put the other side on. Oh, I guess I'm just removing the tape from the, the craft text and putting it on there. And now I'm going to put the other side on. Using the same technique, I have the the score tape on the back side of that so it'll attach to the uh, craft text and I'm just gonna line it up. But in the edges up against the top of the score board and pull burnishing it and then pulling off some of the, uh, the two pieces of score tape to attach it. Staying camera very good. That's what I'm doing. Then again, I'm using the ruler to set my. width between my spine and my uh, front and back cover so that it will close, open close like it should. And uh, now I'm going to burnish the craft text to the, to the chipboard and the score text. Craft text, not score text. And that is going to be the front of your cover. I'm going to bend it a little bit to get it a little pliable and now I'm going to do the same process but this is going to be on the inside of your cover album. The little edge at the bottom I trimmed it off with a knife, a sharp knife and uh, it's on there because we gave you just a little bit extra to move it up and down and just trim it off. I've trimmed it off and now I'm going to add, I've added the score tape. This is to the inside of your album uh, covering the spine well and then about one inch on uh, either side of the the inside of the front and back covers. And this one is a little easier to do because there's no <coughs> excuse me there's no real measuring. You just have to line up. I've made my tick marks on the uh, spine which is into an inch for the center and uh, once I pull the score tape off I can see use my tick marks on the craft text and line it up with the tick marks onto the on the spine and it will all um, match up. This is the easiest part artist parts doing the front. So I have it all done. I'm going to pull the score tape off of just the spine itself. That's the little piece that I cut off of the bottom of the craft text. You can chunk that with that little handy knife. So pulling the, the score tape off, I think that was a fourth of an inch or half an inch and an eighth of an inch on the score tape. So pull it all off of the spine 
that way it's fully exposed and you can just line up your craft text on that so I'll line that up just right at the top making sure I didn't use the scoreboard this time because I was, I didn't think I needed to I probably should have but I didn't and then just press it down carefully to the um, score tape line it up make sure everything's all straight and you can see the the seam or the I know there's this word for that but it's just not in my brain today the gully the spine separation point so I'm going to pull the score tape off of the the back side of it and just of the album and just press that down you want to burnish it good and it's going to be a little stiff over time or for a while until you get everything all on and start using it and handling it and then it'll be fine uh, the weight of what we're going to put on there is going to help it stay down you can always put a closure on it if you want to um, so I've pulled the score tape off almost there we go and uh, then I'm just going to rub it down with my hands and burnish it so that it uh, joins with the chipboard and the score tape and just burnish it off and on while you're working on it and then when you're starting to assemble it <coughs> excuse me and then it'll make it a lot more pliable and flexible easier for you to use I really like this craft text for doing the spines and then the next video I'll show you how to do the uh, photo flips part the five pieces on each side that are a waterfall so you can just adhere those uh, separately and then once you have those decorated then you can just adhere them to the base of the album We'll do the cover. I'm going to do this one in Christmas, so uh, hopefully you'll get to see that one going together. It's going to be using the Graphic 45 12 Days of Christmas. And there it is. You can see that it's still stiff, but it'll be okay. It'll limber itself up and uh, just let it hold that. Um, again, they had the little leftover tail on the on the craft text so I just cut it off with a knife and I think it would work with an exacto knife but I just had that handy and it's nice and sharp so I used that and that's how you cover this and again just keep working with it and I'll be back in another video, part two, of how to assemble your waterfalls. We'll do one complete waterfall assembly, and that will show you how to do it. And enjoy making your album. Just keep it going. Thanks. Bye.